Create layers within your Lucidchart diagrams to optimize space and eliminate confusion. Let's start by looking at a few examples. With layers, you can create a diagram that conveys the current and future state of a process all in one place. You can also use layers with wireframes to help stakeholders understand and interact with an interface before it's fully developed, and even use layers to illustrate the setup for different phases of an event. Okay, let's say you need a good way to store your processes and have them viewable to stakeholders. Instead of creating one massive complex diagram or having processes spread out on different tabs, in Lucidchart, you can use layers and buttons to create a full process repository complete with sub-processes. Let's get started by creating a layer. Go to your layers icon here. A window will pop up and you can move it around to place it where you'd like. You'll see a base layer highlighted in blue where your main process has been built. Note that this layer can't be deleted. To create a new layer for a sub-process, click the Add Layer button and select the New Layer title to rename your layer. When adding objects to layers, you have two options. Option number one is to add shapes directly onto your new layer. You'll notice that when your new layer is highlighted in the Layers pop-up window, the shapes that are not on this layer have been grayed out. From here, you can drag and drop the shapes for your sub-process right next to your main process. Notice as you drag shapes onto the canvas, they are brighter in color to show that you're editing on the new layer and not the base layer. If the main process and the sub-process have already been mapped out within the same diagram, you'll want to use option number two for adding your shapes to a layer. Option number two is to highlight all the objects you'd like to add to your layer and right-click. Select Move to Layer and choose the layer where you'd like your objects to go. If you double-click out of your layer view, you'll notice that both processes are still visible on the canvas. To prevent confusion when others are looking at your diagram, go into your Layers window and click on the eye icon next to the layers you'd like to hide. Then click Sync Visibility. This ensures that whenever someone enters your Lucidchart document, they will see the main process and not all the other layers at once. When the visibility has synced, you'll want to add an action feature to make the sub-process appear on the canvas. To create the action, start by dragging a shape onto the base layer of your canvas. Add a shadow from the Shape Option icon to give it a button feel. With that shape highlighted, go to your Action icon in the Properties bar and click on the Layers tab. Here, you'll have the option to toggle, show, and hide layers. When working with one layer, go to the drop-down menu for Toggle and check the box next to the layer you want to appear. Show and Hide are great to use when you want to show or hide many layers at the same time. Then select Done. This is an important step. If you click out of the menu without selecting Done, your selection won't stick, so be sure to select Done. With an action attached to your button, you can hit Shift, then Command, and click the button if you're on a Mac, and Shift, Control, click if you're on a PC, and watch as the sub-process appears. Keep in mind that if you choose to present your layer diagram with the presentation mode in Lucidchart, layers will still work without the keyboard commands. Just simply click the buttons you created. See how it's so much easier to display the info you need when you need it? So cool! A few additional tips. For added clarity, consider including another button with instructions for toggling off the sub-process. Just simply add the Remove button to the same layer as the sub-process shapes. If you don't want to make a separate button, you can also attach the action directly to the process shape. Add instructions or an icon to indicate that there is an option to select the shape for more information. If you want to add additional layers to display multiple sub-processes separately, repeat the instructions and assign your buttons to the corresponding layer. You can either choose to toggle each layer on and off individually, or if you're moving directly from one layer to another, you'll want to program your button to hide the layers you don't want and show the layer you do. And that's it! Thanks for watching! We hope you found this tutorial helpful! 
For more Lucid Lab videos and courses, be sure to check out our training website.